Hi, my name is Kyle Brierly, Director of Products here at Telium. Today, I'm going to provide a quick overview of Telium Functions, a new free feature for Audience Stream CDP and Event Stream API Hub. Let's head over and check it out. We built Telium Functions because each and every business is solving unique challenges with their customer data. At the core of these challenges is the need for customization. Telium Functions enables Audience Stream and Event Stream customers to connect to new tools, customize their data pipeline, and launch new use cases faster with just a few lines of code. Today, you can get started with Actions in Telium Functions. Actions gives you the ability to create functions for data destinations and integrations at the end of the data supply chain. Later this year, we'll be releasing transformations for Telium Functions which allows you to transform, modify, or validate events at the time of data collection before processing. After that, you'll start to see the ability to create functions all along the data lifecycle to create a complete customization layer in the Telium Customer Data Hub. During the early access program, we've seen customers use Telium functions to build and adapt marketplace integrations to automate workflows, transform data, and connect to external data sets in real time. I wanna walk you through a few use cases today to help you get started getting value from this new feature and direct you to some resources where you can learn more. Users can start adding functions to their workflows by clicking the add function button. Here you'll be asked to give details about your function and select a trigger. This can be either a processed event or processed visitor. From there, once you've selected your trigger, you'll select either the event feed or the audience if you're using processed visitor. And you're ready to go. You're finally brought to the canvas where developers can begin to write their custom code. Code can be tested in real time using the test feature and you can further configure functions under the advanced tab uh, if you're making HTTP requests to maybe an internal API or a vendor that you work with that requires authentication, you can actually assign a pre-existing webhook authentication or add a new one from right here to help you connect to those APIs. Developers have one simple UI to be able to quickly get the function up and running with clear visibility into the data points that are critical for a successful implementation. Marketers can ensure their developers can quickly and easily access both event and or visitor data to support their specific use cases and deliver value to the business. For a list of example functions to give you some ideas on where to get started, you can head to community.teliumiq.com and find our updated list of example code to help you get started. I'll show you a few quick examples. Functions can be fairly simple or fairly complex. Something simple like getting a data point from a vendor you work with, maybe like Drift, where you wanna get the ID for the contact that was just interacting on the website. And once you have that, maybe sending it back into the Telium Collect endpoint so you can use that data to re-enrich a visitor profile or something fairly complex like customizing an existing inter integration. Uh, so something like the Optimizely integration, which we have an existing connector for, but let's say you want to add in some conditional logic uh, and make a fairly complex use case around how you send data to Optimizely Functions can handle much more complex use cases like this. Thank you so much for taking the time to review Telium Functions. For more information or to request a demo, you can head to telium.com slash products slash functions and look out for the transformations update later this year.